All right, gonna make a quick uh, tutorial video on how to install the Lightberry, the software. Uh, you've seen a couple of videos around YouTube where they're showing you how to install and mount the lights, um, but really not a whole lot showing you how to do the software portion of it. Um, that's okay, it's not that hard. So um, what you're gonna do is <clears throat> you're gonna take your SD card and you're gonna put it in your computer. Um, Just a heads up, if you're using a, a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3, you're probably going to need a 16 gig. Uh, I have an 8 gig in my computer, and the file was like 7.2 gigs, and it was saying it doesn't have enough space. So you're probably going to need a 16 gig for this. Anyway, um, might not be the case, but that's the way it was for me. So you're going to put your... Um, SD card in the uh, computer and you're going to prepare the SD card before you do anything. So uh, I'm on the Windows computer obviously. I don't have a Mac so I can't show you how to do it on a Mac. It's a little bit different but uh, with PC just Google this program. It's called SD Formatter. This is version 4.0. So you're going to select the drive that your SD is. Mine is in the F drive. I'm going to go to options and uh, just do full erase and hit format. <clears throat> yes, we want to format the drive. It's going to delete everything off the drive. So if you have anything that you want to keep, back it up and place it somewhere else. So right now we're erasing the drive. Right now we're preparing the drive for the image file uh, for the library. So the drive is formatted. So now <clears throat> we're going to exit out of there and we're going to go to the Lightberry web page. We're going to click on the download button. Now it's going to take us here and don't let this intimidate you. Um, it's really not that, that complicated. Now it's going to see, it's going to say test OS SD card images right here. Um, if you have the Raspberry Pi one first gen, you download this file the two and or the three, you download this file. Uh, I have the three, so I downloaded this file. So what I did was I clicked on this button and downloaded this file. Now, once it was completed, I extracted the contents of that zip to the desktop. And it, it, it's, it was basically an image IMG um, file that was in that zip so download it extract the extract the img file to your desktop okay once you do that and remember this is on the windows version not the mac so for windows just google and download a free program called win32 disk imager okay so it says image file you're going to click on this button right here and you're going to search for your img file there it is IMG. So we did that. We're going to make sure that the device is the letter drive you are um, using for your SD card. You want to make sure that is correct. Then you click right. Now it's going to say this. You cl click yes. I have an 8 gig in there. It's not big enough. But when you click right, it's going to write that image to the SD card. Now, instead of breaking out my crappy you know cam and filming my tv i'm going to show you what to do um when you put your sd card from the computer um so what you are going to do is you're going to open or you're going to put the sd card in and you're going to fire it up okay then you're going to go to system and then system info. I'm not going to click on it because I don't want you to see my uh, IP address. But you're going to write down your IP address. Okay, Write it down. It's important for later. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to programs. Now this computer, this is on my computer. It doesn't have it. But on the Raspberry Pi, it will say um, Hyperion. I, th I think I pronounced it right. Hyperion config creator now that is an app that's going to work with your cell phone and it's going to allow you to do a little bit more stuff to the library that you can 
you can do without it. So uh, <laughs> I'm a little flustered here. Anyway, you're going to click on the uh, the Hyperion config creator. You're going to follow the steps. Once you do that, okay, that's done. So you're going to reboot your Raspberry Pi. So once you do that, you're going to go to your cell phone. And remember, just Google this. I don't have the exact um, link off the top of my head. Just Google it, okay? So uh, let's see here. So we're going to go to the phone now, and this, and we're going to launch the Hyperion, Hyperon, whatever, however you pronounce it. This is the app for that. This is on my phone. Now this is what it's going to look like. Now, if you did this correctly, you can make it. You can make it uh, change color here. You can add effects. You can do all that. But first, you got to get it connected. So um, you're going to go and click this button right here, and you're going to go to settings. Now it's going to say Hyperon, Hyperion, whatever. It's going to say the server. Type in. Make sure it's your IP address, and then like a colon and then 19444 uh, I don't know if the 19444 is the same for everybody I believe it is it's just a port um, and that's it so you go here now and you make sure that the hype the server is selected and to make sure it works and it's connected it should give you like a little saying down here that it's connected and just just play, just mess with it. See if it works. You know, see if the colors are changing. You know, um, then if it does work, then you can go to like effects, and you can do like a Night Rider effect, or you can do the police lights, or whatever, whatever. So you can also do this, where you can click LEDs and color transforms. I like to mess with the HSV now. This is kind of low, like 1.0. I usually put it about, you know, about right here and in the value gain. It just gives the, the color, it makes the color a little bit more bright. If you have it down at one, it's just not, it's just really not that bright. Other than that, you're done. Um, now you can watch the movies and uh, the library should work on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't do this like, exactly how it's supposed to be but i already have it installed um i was just showing you guys i took me a little while to install this and it was kind of a pain but i finally figured it out and i don't want to go through all that trouble again in case it does mess up so uh, i'm just making this very broad and general tutorial to help anybody else because i didn't have this when i was trying to figure this all out so uh, i hope this helped you and uh let me know if it worked for you all right thanks for watching